Hello, welcome to Brian's workshop. The next component to be made is the master rod. A centre line was marked out on the material and a hole for the big end bearing drilled and reamed. At the opposite end of the line, a centre dot was made to provide a reference point. A jig was made to locate the big end on the centre of the rotary table and the rotary table centred on the mill using the coaxial indicator and all the zeros set. The centre line dot was then located using the coaxial indicator and the material firmly locked into place. All actions from this point relied on the rotary table and the digital readouts. Moving back down the centre line, the small end could then be drilled and reamed. The second part of the jig was then fitted to ensure no movement was possible. Holes for the link pins were then drilled and reamed and the major sizes established. A boring head preset to the correct diameter was then used to cut the profile of the rod. A 4mm cutter was then fitted and the slots cut in both faces. The rotary table was moved to the vertical position to cut the space for the link rods. Lastly, the front and rear faces were cut to their final dimensions.